Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's play Trichodecophobia by Rectorox. I mean, Negleriasis by Rectorox. Negleriasis, also called a primary amoebic meningitis, is a parasitic disease caused by the parasite Negleria flowery. Let me say, sorry, Fowlery. Nicknamed the brain-eating amoeba, it is typically found in the sediment on the bottom of warm freshwater lakes and rivers. Once inhaled, it travels to the brain and devours the neural tissues, resulting in severe inflammation, which nearly always results in death. And yes, I know there was no T-H-E between these letters here, but for some reason my brain inserted the word the there. In Fowlery... Yeah, in... In Fowlery infections have been reported in 18 U.S. states. The majority of cases have occurred in Texas and Florida. In the United States, less than 1% of individuals infected with an Negleria fowleri parasite have survived. In most cases, the parasite kills its host in less than a week. A remake and better version of Pam Negleriasis is a small, easy-medium difficulty funnel puzzle. Walkthrough available. If you're interested, also give Jose Pez the advanced version of the original a try. Yes, I do remember this one we played a long time ago. This is one of the... one of the, I think one of the first that I played. Yes, this is one of the first that I played that was very broken and Rector Rocks couldn't update the map. There's a way to do it. You can do it with, uh, you know, editing some text files and stuff. You can recreate the map and, and update it, but it's a pain to do. So yeah, this version's broken. Let's play the fixed, updated version, shall we? Let's get started. Oh yes, this brings back memories. I remember... <laughs> I remember... Getting to the exit was a breeze in the old version. <laughs> Alright, so... It's time. Maybe it won't be so breezy. Ha, ah, that's... I like the way this looks. Adorable. Right, unlabeled button goes to an unlabeled dropper. I suppose that might count as signage. We have this button, and we have this button, and we have this button. Ah, uh, excuse me. Thank you. I said this button, which, uh, what exactly does that do? This fizzler, and... This fizzler. Does both, basically. Toggles the fizzlers. Gotcha. Alright, well, in that case... How about we... do something along the lines... of that. There we go. Oh no! I wasn't expecting that! Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, hmm... What do I do now? Well... Okay. I've done a thing. Uh... <laughs> I don't think I did a good thing, though. I think that was a bad thing. Hmm. Alright. <laughs> I think I have a better idea of what I should have done instead. So let's 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 go ahead and restart here, shall we? Let's plonk this cube down there. Right, no, not like that though. Um
Uh, hmm, yes, this, no. This is not good either. This is not... This is not how you do it. This is not the answer. Although it is interesting that I'm able to go up and loop through the funnel like this. I didn't actually know that this was possible. <laughs> yeah, that's... no. No. Just no. Uh, hmm... Alright, well, what might I do instead? Because at the end of the day, I just want to funnel the cube over here. This won't get far enough, right? Yeah, just barely not enough. Hmm. Wonder why this portal surface has an anti-player fizzler on it. Interesting. If I were to try and juggle it, I wouldn't be able to do it effectively. It's this area that's tricking me out here. I can do that much, but then what? Because as soon as I place my portal elsewhere, this fizzler just turns back on. And I have no way out. I have to do something while I'm in this state. I'm pretty sure this is at least correct. I have to do something from here. But I don't know what. I am actually quite stumped here. I remember I didn't actually have to solve the puzzle in the original, <laughs> so... Can't look back at that. I could try fizzling the cube, but I don't see how that would help. We already established flinging it into the funnel doesn't help. And there's no transfer of momentum in this game, so I can't have the cube fly into the portal and knock me up into the funnel. That won't work. Although that would be really cool. I think I've got some parasites eating the brain cells that know how to solve this puzzle. Okay, 
I was curious. I thought the game was running at 60 FPS, but I guess I'm just used to 30 FPS. It looked really smooth to me. And those of you... Yes, I know 30 FPS is not ideal. But I'm I... I have my reasons, okay? <laughs> I can get in here with the cube at the same time, but again, it's not very useful. Because at some point I need to have my portal back there again. Yeah, like, I can do that much. I can do this. A whole lot of good that does me. And, like, I can get the cube into the funnel from here. But I can't get myself into the funnel. I can't get the portal on that surface. Because I don't need to? Perhaps I don't need to. Why is that cube performing a manual override on that wall? <laughs> uh... This is his line with the exit, so... Not helpful. I need to have a portal there at the same time as having a portal... There. No, I don't. No, I don't! There's a reason the ceiling is so high in this place. I can... Oop, uh, juggle the cube, theoretically. Possibly. Perhaps. Hey, that worked. No idea if that's intended, but that's the only thing I can think of. Neat. Alright, well guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in another video. Goodbye!